Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why you text me then? <laughs> I see it. I see it. Every single confusion should now be clear for the Browns. Mm. Why do they keep playing Baker Mayfield? Why hasn't Baker been benched? What's Kevin Stefanski's mm. obsession with Baker Mayfield? It's abundantly clear, and I haven't been in the Browns locker room, but I do know coaches. Mm. It's abundantly clear that Kevin Stefanski wants stars in Cleveland. Smart, tough accountable, resilient. Okay. That was what he said post-game. And he said it as if that was the team's mantra. Every team has a mantra. You've yeah, been on yeah, several teams. Yeah. So Kevin Stefanski is looking for stars. Smart, tough, accountable, resilient. It also appears that the team quote is, when things get hard, we're good. Mm -hmm. Baker Mayfield has proved all season to be tough, accountable, and resilient. Y'all can question if he's been smart, but I'm sure in Kevin Stefanski's eyes, he's been smart, tough, accountable, and resilient. He's been a star to Kevin Stefanski. Baker Mayfield has also proven that he's tough. And it appears that Kevin Stefanski's team motto, when things get tough, we're good. When I heard that 17-second post-game clip sell, it all made sense. Mm. Browns don't have any trouble. Why? Because mm -hmm. Baker Mayfield is paying Kevin Stefanski in the love language he appreciates most. Mm. Love languages, we know all about them. Acts of service, gifts, physical touch, words of affirmation, quality time. To some individual who appreciates gifts, you might be appalled when you're like, yo, but y'all don't spend no time together. He's rude to you, doesn't physical, he doesn't touch you at all, and he's not even affirming. Yeah, but he buys me gifts every day. So to someone like me that doesn't appreciate gifts, so I'd be confused. Mm. Why do you engage in that relationship with somebody who spends no time with you, isn't affirming, uh, no physical touch, et cetera? Because that's a love language that they appreciate that I might not. Mm. We as fans, analysts, haven't realized that Baker Mayfield is paying Stefanski in the language in which Stefanski clearly appreciates Ooh, most. Cookie. Based off <laughs> smart tough, accountable, resilient. Does it make sense to me all the time? No, I might want a higher mm. completion percentage. I might want uh, more passing touchdowns. I might want less interceptions. I'm sure Kevin Stefanski would additionally like all those things as mm. well. But based on that post-game presser, not even post-game presser, the intimacy right, of right. the locker room where Kevin Stefanski is reading off to his team the team motto. He's reading off to the team, the team's company policy, if you will. It appears Baker falls in line without all of that. That was the epiphany I had, and that let me realize, wait a second, Stefanski is actually pleased enough with Baker Mayfield, because Baker's paying Stefanski mm. in the manner in which Stefanski receives, although you and I might not receive it that way. Mm. Boy, you've made that take work. <laughs> but now I know why you didn't text me, because you knew I wouldn't agree all the way with that take. I didn't read that from that moment, but I'm going to get to that moment very shortly. There's trouble brewing in Cleveland. And let me tell you that. You can only suppress what you really want for so long. What do we always say about war? Can't be avoided, just postponed. And I think Kevin Stefanski's a little tired of hitting the snooze button on this war. Let's talk about the fact that there is something brewing. And I know I don't like coffee, and if I do, I like it cold. I don't like hot coffee, right? But I do know how to make hot coffee. And I do also know when you're boiling something. Let's talk about something I love to boil, hot dogs. People say that's nasty. I say it's still good to me. And I noticed one thing about when you're boiling hot dogs, you got the water in the pan, and you got it on for about five, ten minutes. You're like, man, when is it going to bubble up? When is it going to start bubbling, right? Put your finger in there before you see a bubble. It's still hot. That's the situation in Cleveland. Y'all waiting for it to bubble up. Y'all waiting to see and hear it all. Oh, put your finger in there right now. It's already hot. Because Kev Kevin Stefanski is sitting there like, I got everything I need except the most important thing. Woo, you ever been in that relationship? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the relationship where the kids are beautiful and happy. Man, you got an amazing job. You got a tremendous home. You got a tremendous lifestyle. But... Honey's not too happy. She doesn't like to drive. She doesn't like everything. She doesn't feel like she has a say. Whatever it may be, your companion's sitting there like, man, and you sitting there like, man, happy wife, happy life. But wifey ain't happy. I think that's what we're looking at right now with the Cleveland situation. Kevin Stefanski is saying things, and he doesn't even have to say the name to know what he's talking about. Who did he say? Who did he ask? Interesting. His ex, his side piece, the one he really wants. The one, I mean, the one is college sweetheart, whatever you want to call him. Case, 
First of all, I ain't been in the locker room lately, but I know when I was in the locker room, coach, it's a lot of starters around here. <laughs> You're going to go pick Case to all of a sudden give the point of emphasis for what our company's slogan is, Case? Even if Case knows it, which we all know it, is Case the one to really go out there and exhibit it? And you know why he's not? Because he ain't the one putting in the work. So this tells me right now, Kevin Stefanski just tired. I done did everything. I checked every box except the most important one. And I need you to check it, but you're not. So guess what, Baker? Guess what, world? I'm going to put y'all finger in this water. Tell me if it's brewing. Tell me if it's hot or not. I think it's hot. But I think water is hot in every NFL organization right now. I think there's probably a little bit of turmoil within every locker room. It just may not be at the quarterback position. Okay. But there's turmoil within every locker room. Little bubbles certain, everywhere? Little bubbles everywhere. <laughs> All right. Um, Let's go. You, you bring up a great point. I'm like, why did he shout out Case? Now, I don't see the video. I didn't see the vantage point. I don't even know if Baker was there. Typically, quarterbacks after a win, they're on the field doing interviews post-game mm -hmm. with whoever's there, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Baker may have still been out. But I do understand this much. Baker's fine as long as they keep winning. Point blank, period. Fine as defined fine, as what? Fine as defined as going to be there next year, obviously, because they oh, already yeah. picked up that yeah, fifth year option. That part. Paying them 18, I believe, million going into next year. So as there's trouble, but the trouble will amount to nothing. Like, the, the, the Browns mm. have agreed, like several couples I've heard, don't use the D word. I think you told me that, right? Divorce. Oh, okay. Well, hey, don't you don't drop that dunk. Uh, hey. The Browns have agreed, like, we're not going to use that word. Mm. Baker, we're not, you're not leaving. Right. Stefanski, you're not leaving. Yeah, we're yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Trouble may brew. We may raise our voices. Mm -hmm. We may leave the club in different cars. Yeah. I may call an Uber. You may walk. Yeah. But ultimately speaking, we are not getting divorced. We're in it for the long haul. I get... Mm. I get what Baker was saying, Sal, because Baker's like, we've had internal issues. We have. Odell Beckham's dad popped up on uh, Instagram. Okay. Kareem Hunt's dad popped up on Facebook. When people's parents speak, as if though, to some degree, they are speaking as well. Mm -hmm. So the Browns' issues have been internal. I get all that. So Baker's not lying. I just know trouble's not brewing because, to me... When we speak of trouble brewing, is it ever going to turn into a boil? Mm -hmm. It's one thing if that mm -hmm. hot water turns into a boil, but if it just stays hot, it really ain't doing nothing. Mm. So, sure, it can brew all at once, but the issues in Cleveland are never going to actually amount to anything as it pertains to Baker Mayfield. Baker's good. Browns are winning. It looks like they're en route to the playoffs once again. Uh, I, they may make the playoffs. They may not make the playoffs. But whatever they accomplish, they know that they're – doing it the hard way. They know that this is not the easiest path of least resistance. They know that right now we have a quarterback that is just making life a little more difficult than necessary. Whether it is the internal issues of other players and other family members of players calling out Baker Mayfield. Only one common denominator, Baker Mayfield. If it is Kevin Stefanski saying, I don't know what Baker talking about. First of all, when a coach says, I don't know what he's talking about, that means the coach wants the public to start to discover what he's talking about instead of handling it like Bill Belichick or all the other professional coaches, including Kevin Stefanski, when he doesn't want smoke. He'll say, we talk every week, so we're good. But he didn't say that. He said, I don't know what he's talking about. That lets you know he wants some smoke. He wants to meet Baker at the flagpole because he's tired of it, man. And it's just that simple. Where was Baker Mayfield in that video? No one saw him. Coven said he was doing a progressive commercial. I don't know. But you know what the point is? I love when coaches do what you say. He, he said the star slogan, right? right? Y'all got to understand what's really happening right now. Today's NFL with the new world, the new media, the Web 3.0, Web 3.0, whatever you want to call it. The podium is no longer at the podium. It's right after the game in that intimate setting you're talking about where we are in the game, then we walk off the field, we walk into a locker room, and there are more cameras than people, and we're acting like this is now the podium. Coaches give that speech, which I don't think is really authentic, at that moment now. Because they know there are more cameras than players right here. So they're like, let me just get this out right now. And I'm telling you, Kevin Stefanski had multiple times to suppress this, but he didn't suppress this. The internal issues are not only with players and their family members. It's not only between Kevin Stefanski and Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield is having internal issues in terms of where's my appreciation for who I am as a player. As you said yesterday, when are we going to reset who Baker Mayfield is to this organization and to the world? Because right now, the way he's being treated, including by his head coach, doesn't seem like everybody's on the same page.